Oh my god. That is so cool. I wasn't expecting that! Oh, I love this! And the messed up part is, like, no matter how many times I die, I just- I keep coming back to this. I can't put Crash 4 down. It's a little weird, though, because we're just spewing rainbows over here. Like, Crash just ingested a couple pounds of Skittles. Hats off to Toys for Bob, though, for just the sheer creativity and love that went into this game. I think a lot of us were worried that this game was not going to be difficult and it was kind of going to be a cash-in, but is clearly not the case. Dude, this is so cool. This might be my favorite inverted level yet. Oh, I missed the box. Oh, well. I'm, I'm missing plenty of boxes. What else is new? All this grinding. I promise you guys are going to get some Sonic Adventure content. I want to say soon, but let's say 2021 just to be safe. All right, now, how do I kill this guy again? We hit him in the butt, right? I mean, he's got a hole in his pants. It's clear indication that he's oblivious. All the black and white is just throwing me off just a little bit because everything being monotone, it, it kind of... It throws me for a loop. Did I go this way originally? I don't I don't know if I did. Okay, so I think we got a jump and spin, maybe? I know you guys told me, like, if I stand still, I hit the bottom one, but... Headshot. Look at that. Pure skill. Okay, so if we hit these, I think that makes Nitro go boom. And then we can come back. Okay, at least we're gonna get all the bonus boxes. Because I do want to get more skins. Because I think that's the best part of this game. I should easily just be able to knock those guys over. Just let them fall in the water and just watch them drown. Can my swim? Okay, now we can just learn exactly how much of a failure we are. Alright, not too big of a failure, I guess. <laughs> Booty Seeker. Did we get that? We did. You can now be Pirate Crash. Oh wait, we got a Coco skin too. Oh, classic Coco? Okay, we're gonna give her some love right now. No. Oh, she can literally kick colors. Dude, that's dope. And maybe kicking colors, but the only thing you're gonna get is black and blue. You know what this reminds me of? You guys remember Epic Mickey? The first game was fun, and then they came out with Epic Mickey, whatever the second one was, and I didn't play it. I think that was the one where you get stabbed. I think that was the one where you can play as Oswald 2, I think. Oh, bring it, Mr. Krabs. Hand over the Krabby Patty secret formula. <laughs> Figures, the one stage where I'm like, hey, let's play Coco. That didn't happen. I got the hidden gem. Speaking of hidden gems, you know what game is a hidden gem? Tamarin, the beautiful new 3D platformer from Chameleon Games. If you're looking for a cute, peaceful world filled with other cute animals to ex- Wait, fight? We're fighting? This is supposed to be a peaceful journey. Oh yeah, see what I mean? Must have been some kind of misunderstanding. No fighting here, just an adorable tamar- Shoot! He has a gun? Well, I mean, this does look kind of awesome. Explore, leap, and shoot your way through expansive natural worlds to save your family from the instant invasion. Tamarin is filled with bug splatting adventure paired with a beautiful soundtrack composed by the one and only David Wise. You will not want to miss this modern indie with the beating heart of the golden era of platforming. Tamarin is now available for PlayStation 4 and PC. Pick it up today. This guy's not even gonna see it coming. Hello! Oh, you killed me. You know, I'm not gonna lie, when I first beat Crash 4, I was like, oh, good, I'm done with this game. Then I was like, what if I just died. I was like, what if I just played like one or two inverted levels and I recorded it? And then you guys were just like, hey, play the whole thing again. We, we want to see that suffering. So we're going to just finish it off. We might as well. And then I promise the insane trilogy will follow. Like I said, that one's going to be a cakewalk because I really think that this is one of the harder crash games. And who knows, maybe we'll play Twin Sanity, which I've I've never played, which everyone said is like one of the good ones. This crab just kind of looks like a Donkey Kong villain. I don't know why, but I get huge Donkey Kong energy from it. Oh, we only missed 10 that time. Well, I'm glad I picked Coco for this stage, but at least we got the skin. You guys think that if Crash does end up coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate that we're going to get a Coco alt. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, the proportions are not exactly the same, but I feel like they could make it work. Look what they did with Enderman and Zombie and Alex. I mean, they nerfed poor Enderman. He went from being a tall boy to being under six foot. I know that pain. A is for Abby. B is for Bert. C for Coco. Unless C is also for Crash, in which case, like, maybe let Coco have a little bit of the glory. Oh, that's right. We have to... Wait, what are the buttons for this again? Watch out for the whirlpool. Hang on. Going for all the boxes. At least all the ones that I can get. Slide! Slide! 
jump, no! That's what I get from making the same reference in, uh, multiple videos. Toys R Bob is like Chuck. We're, we're tired of your reused jokes. We're just, we're tired of the subpar comedy. Look at this guy sticking his neck in everyone else's business. Because his neck's long. Ooh, watch out for the, the big bombs. Or, okay, we're, we drown. You like this, don't you? You enjoy this. Well, you know what you can do if you enjoy this? You can kindly go hit the like button, I'd appreciate that. In fact, every like is one box that I have missed. So, it, it better be a lot of likes. See, now we're just flying through the level. Just had to get my momentum. See for Choctopus. I feel like we might have gotten a lot of the boxes here, but I also feel like we probably didn't because when things feel good, they're likely wrong. That's a life lesson. What feels right is most likely wrong. And what feels wrong is most likely right. Woo! Okay, oh, watch out for the cannonballs. There's the end. There's no bonus in sight, which means uh, we we didn't do this right. Now we gotta fight the, the big fishy boy. My the mice just kamikazing into the tentacles. Really doing the most. Look, look at this. We're just having a good time, enjoying the water. The water's nice, by the way. Should come in. Oh, I'm dead. Can I just tell you that the incredible amount of athleticism that these mice have? I need to stop talking. I've come to find that whenever I have something interesting to say, I die because I get distracted. I was just going to commend them on their athleticism to balance on a barrel while holding two other mice on their shoulders while twirling scimitars? Okay, one more. Come on. Come to Coco. Oh, well, you're a bigger failure than I thought we were. Oh, this one's straight sepia tone. This feels like a 2006 MySpace filter. Having flashbacks, man. Having Cortex Castle flashbacks. I gotta take a look at my trophy list, because I feel like at this point, we're, we're probably going for platinum. <laughs> it says pee, pee I have the brain of a nine-year-old. Reflect this. I've gotten too good at turning on and off the natural disaster crash. As I was saying. What does Akuku say? That's my best Akuku impression. I like just spinning around sometimes. How long do you think Crash can do this before he throws up bile? Whoop, okay. Almost died there. Bounce off that lily pad. We're almost home free. Close enough. Oh, just one shy of getting Tiger Crash? Tasmanian Crash? Embryo's voice actor sounds so familiar and I can't pin it, but I know like it's a voice actor that has done a ton of work from my childhood. He's the same voice actor that has done Pinky from Pinky in the Brain, right? He sounds just like him. And I've been watching the Animaniacs reboot lately and also like Crash. It's a good reboot. It's faithful to the source material. It's fan servicey out the ass. I'm just a very nostalgic person. I've been wanting to do a video for so long where I'm just kind of like talking about my favorite things of the 90s and what I miss most about it. But I, I guess we could just kind of do it here. I truly miss how innocent the internet was in the 90s. And what I'm saying is, I feel like interactions used to be a lot more meaningful because it was an event. You had to log onto the internet and some of you don't know what that means. Some of you just know you pick up your phone and you everything is a meme. There were no memes back in the 90s. I got my news from magazines and gamefacts.com. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I don't even know if this voice actor is from Thinking in the Brain, but he sounds like it. Oh, I, I get it now. This stage is called Dragon On because there's a lot of dragons. I thought only I was capable of such godlike puns. How do I get that one? I think I just got up. Yeah, that's it. Wait, I'm missing one. I ain't leaving here until we get every damn box. That was unintentional. There we go. See, Boxy, I was never gonna give up on you. Even though you've given up on me. Why am I so focused on one single box, you say? Well, it's because if that's the only box that I missed this entire stage, I'm going to be angry. I was, I was right there! No, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, oh, come on! See, I told you all along I could do it. And some of you have been wondering, Chuck, how are you so bad at this game? Well, I don't have an answer to that. But I would like to know why do they keep giving me money to play video games? I mean, they say to make it as a content creator, you either need to be good or you need to be entertaining. And 
my god, I'm definitely not good at this game. So I hope I'm at least entertaining. Or you know what? Maybe I'm neither and the algorithm just really likes me. In which case, thank you very much, YouTube.com. Okay, we're at the top. We're safe. Not for long. Come on. Give me the rest. Damn it. <laughs> See, Crash is... He's going insane. I didn't even mean for that to... Oh, Persona? Like a fursona? Dude, how cool would Crash be as one of the Phantom Thieves? Dude, look at this costume. This is awesome. I think half the fun of replaying this game inverted is I don't really know what to expect from each world. So I have no idea what we're gonna be going into in the next world. That is Reuniclus. And he ate me. Man, Reuniclus is a Pokemon that I have not thought about in quite a while. Just making me relive the horror days of Pokemon Duel. Those were the days though. Hitting my first thousand subs playing Pokemon Duel. I was so proud. I was like, man, my channel is really blown up. I had no idea what was in store for me. That's not meant to be a humble brag. It's more meant to be like, thank you for allowing me to do this. For a living. I really wish they would bring the game back. I know there's like an unofficial Pokemon Duel thing happening right now, which is really cool. You know what's not cool? Wait, look at these cute little ghosts. They remind me of that Studio Ghibli movie. I don't know which one, don't ask me. I've only seen like two Studio Ghibli movies. I just, I saw the cover for that one. Checkpoint is such a sight for sore eyes, man. For that reason. I said this before, but my wish for the next Crash game, whatever that may be, is put a percentage of boxes gathered along the way, or maybe have like, I don't know, some way of indicating how many boxes you've missed along the way, I feel like would just save me a lot of time and insanity. I, I can't stop with the insanity puns. This game is changing my DNA. Is that me complaining, wah, wah, video game too hard? Because I, I promise, I grew up in an era where if you ran out of continues, you went back to the beginning of the game. I forgot how long these stages are. Oh, outrun the flames, outrun the flame. Oh! Well, this is going to, oh, yeah. Sometimes you get a little glimmer of hope, only for it to be shot down immediately. Just slowly and slowly, we're missing more and more boxes with every passing level. We're gonna finish this off with Artist Crash. The Artiste, ha ha, I am French Crash. That's what she said. This is the easy boss, right? We should have to shoot the booger dogs back. Oh, he's drinking the juice. Oh, that's right. Okay, how do I... Oh, just knock him off the... Nope. Oh, he broke my back. He pulled a Bane and just snapped Crash's back. Is Embryo the Bane of the Crash universe? Why'd I just fall off the stage? Goodbye. Like the video, and we'll see you next time. Oh, also, please subscribe.